Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the second episode of the second season of Kakegurui. And no, I did not drop this show. It's just a matter of scheduling, really. I bit off a bit more hype than I can chew this season, you know, on top of what I already had to do. So it's kind of tricky to find spots for this without, like, cutting out other stuff, you know. But yeah, uh, I'm reacting to it today, so that's a thing. What happened in the first episode? Well, we were introduced to our new character, Erime. You know, Mushibami Erime, I believe, and she had this whole finger guillotine thing, which was pretty cool. And she seemed pretty calm, cool, and collected about it. Like, yeah, it's just a funny little game, you know, nothing to worry about. And that was because she was cheating, like everybody else in the show. Meanwhile, Yumiko and uh, Hibar... What was her name? Uh, no, it was uh, Midari. Midari, thank you, notes that I have to the side. Yeah, they, have, they were having a blast with it. They were having a good time. But once the when she realized she, her finger was actually in danger, she had a big change of attitude. But the other big thing of the episode is that we got to see kind of the refresh that our student council president's going for, you know, stepping down, trying to get some new blood in there. And a whole bunch of Momobami, yeah, Momobami family, branch family members in here to, uh, with some student council election type of things. And a lot of new characters, most of which I don't remember the names aside from like Mary Me, I guess. But yeah, I don't, did we finish off the finger gating game? I don't think we did. So we might continue that off this episode. I don't know. Let's see. Three, two, one, play. That is a lot riding on this. <laughs> uh, someone has a beat around the bush. <laughs> Which shocked pretty much everyone. Thank you for clearing that up for me. No real, no real room for ambiguity. Run what? All for her amusement. You don't say. I got that impression before you made the scary face at me. Trust me. I mean, they basically just explained it. Yeah, because, you know, this is such a great place before. Yeah, you don't really have any room to argue. I like you better with the stars in your eyes. <laughs> that explains why you're the one, one of the people with the, the finger guillotine. <laughs> yeah, there's not a chance any of them would be as good as her. Her name is already me. Yeah, no need to have a heart attack. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Everybody has an opportunity here. <laughs> exactly, that's the whole idea. Comes down to your gambling skill or cheating ability. Not a little of both. But yeah, I do hope we continue our with our uh Finger guillotine game. I wanna I wanna see a finger come off. Not even that picky about who it is. Although preferably not Midari, she would have the least interesting reaction to it. You know, little miss take her own eye out.
But yeah, seems like more than just the student council president's seat is on the line here. Which is why it's all mumba bombi people that were, uh, were brought in. I feel like I just kind of get lost in this opening. Just mesmerized by it. Like for a few seconds, I forgot where I was. The little part that reminds you you're watching a fan subversion. <laughs> yeah, student council president elections. It's up for grabs, guys. Man up with a better president. Or worse. I did, actually. <laughs> yeah. Who would want such a thing? Of course. Goes without saying. Yeah, no, don't don't feel bothered to. You got two girls in that dog suits back there. It's only lasts for thirty days. That's the look of a woman that's enjoying this far too much. So I guess that just well, they're not all dog suits. I mean, chips are chips. Gambling chips are gambling chips. I'm not sure what your point is. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I finally managed to get some money. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How much are we talking? Wow, that's a lot. Uh, Jibame, do you want me to link you my Patreon? Because I'll do that. Well, of course she wouldn't. Mary! Mary, I knew you were in the show, too. <laughs> oh, Come on, let her hug you. Uh, come on, sneak a hug in, Yumiko. Yeah, that's what it takes to satisfy this girl. Uh, a suitable person, eh? Well, there was some sort of relationship there. <laughs> uh. Well... <laughs> yes, yeah, a bunch of weirdos. Because, you know, the show didn't already have a bunch of those. I did kind of see that theme, yes. You know, like Mushi Bobby. Oh wow, it actually does. I, I didn't think about that. Wow. Well, that was a big revelation. <laughs> she has a connection there. Yes. I, I know, right? Zumi's supposed to be like a Gyaru character. Yes, it is. Thank you for repeating the premise. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that either. 
Yeah, you don't want to do that so early on. <laughs> uh, you let this small child just be part of the election anyway. Uh, I don't think I could forget if you look at me like that. Yeah, but that was for the audience's sake. That would be the big question. How perceptive. Yeah, she's a force to be reckoned with, to be sure. She's also really cool. I don't think she want to be part of any pact. I think she'd have no interest at all. And you waste no time doing that, do you? You just went right for her. Not sure exactly how Midari got pulled into that, but probably voluntarily. I have missed Mary a lot. I'm so glad she's back. Gamble? <laughs> of course. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're always so cute, Yumiko. Uh oh. Fair point. I don't think so. I think we already kind of talked about that last season in a way. That wasn't really her goal. Oh, I see you looking at Yumiko like that. No, no, I, w I want to hear you say that you got my interest there. The way you looked at Yumiko definitely got my attention. Uh, yeah, Ray. I think that's what that was. I'm still trying to get the new people's names down. <laughs> well, don't ask me twice. Yes. <laughs> oh, you might go. Yeah, that was Ray. Batsubami. Not the best family name ever. You know, rather be a Batsugame. Let me guess. Uh, Arie me. That's my guess. I'm sticking to it. We'll see if I'm right. <laughs> Happy reunion number two of the episode. Oh man, that's a look of disgust. If only you would look at me like that. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, don't let the fact that she's half my size fool you. She's very powerful, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm sure being your first would be quite a privilege. I just I love the stupid dog suit. The way it's the tongue sticking out to really make us the outfit. I'll leave it to you. Yes, very important. No cheating allowed. <laughs> Don't be so impatient. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. You don't know the scroll yet, do you?
I should hope so. You're a liar. <laughs> and then fast... <laughs> fast forward to where we left off, I guess. <laughs> Back to this. <laughs> Look how quickly things change. Now she's leaking fluid from all of her orifices. Which is nothing new for this show, but... <laughs> Yeah, you could hear the disappointment in Midari's voice. She was having such a good time, and then just... This. Of course, Yumiko knows what's up. I don't know. It's by scissoring. We have the scissor, so... Just keep doing that. Okay. I'm glad we're continuing. I want to see a finger fly off. We're getting closer. Going really fast, too. <laughs> uh, they're not babies like you. I mean, you got ten fingers. Those are ones not that big of a deal. Don't be such a wuss. This is why people call you a great scorer. Oh, damn. This is getting close. Depending on how you look at it. Very good point by Yumiko. <laughs> the difference in facial expressions is great. <laughs> like, what is wrong with these girls? Uh, probably the most stressful three-girl finger action I've ever seen in an anime. Yeah, you better not pull out until the climax. <laughs> she did say that. Those beautiful lips. <laughs> yes, and it's definitely been building up in her. <laughs> It'll come to an end eventually. <laughs> yes, I I love how you say that while grabbing at yourself. I mean we only have really one more round left, so Well, I'm sure these girls could. <laughs> uh Yeah, we couldn't have that. And... No. We don't have many left, so... Uh... And now she no longer has control over it, so... She has to just... Whoa! Okay, that's sweat dripping off of her face. I, I thought something else at first. <laughs> I think so, too. Yes, that's what we're here for. Yeah, there's two people that are going to cut it before you, so... <laughs> Please don't end on the episode. <laughs> this next one's a big one because either it'll be the one or we'll know which one is. Oh, wow! She... He cut off both. Uh, I guess she pulled out. What a baby. Uh. Okay. Doesn't look satisfied though, but congrats. Yeah, you weren't supposed to do that. Uh. 
How dare you take that away from me? <laughs> oh, this three way turned very violent very quickly. You still broke the rules and kind of ruined the fun. <laughs> yeah. You really have been doing a very good job getting on Yumiko's good side, you know that? <laughs> uh... Apparently they try to trick you. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Misinterpreted. I'm pretty sure that was a deliberate ruse. Are you happy you still have all your fingers? She is so much shorter than her. She's like the perfect side for perfect size compared to her for, you know. So, a couple extra chips for Jibami. Yumiko, I don't know why I called her that. That's good to hear. Why? What's what's wrong with Ray? Insurance. Okay, so the bots who being in their name is kind of intentional. I gotcha. That's why she had a little bit weird when they mentioned her gambling. That's nice. <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, are you okay? What are you going to do, Mary? Oh, boof. Oh, no. Uh. Yes. <laughs> I don't have my mask. They see that I have a face. My secret's revealed. <laughs> Do we? Is it about the face? I, I promise won't tell anyone what you look like under it. And back to our wonderful ED. So what's with the butterflies? Are they attracted to insanity? Whew. Has anyone ever looked so good just walking before? And yeah, this is this is where things heat up a bit. 
And then heat up a lot. <laughs> They're just not even subtle anymore. I know we're not going to get a scene like that in the, open, in the show itself, but man, would it be great if we did. We couldn't even get her to hug Mary. She just wasn't having any of it. She just blocked it. But it's unfortunate. Also unfortunate that nobody lost a finger, but I, I, deep down I knew that would be the case. Still disappointing. Do exactly as Mary tells you, if you will, if you insist. This woman should not be touched. Okay, does she have cooties? Well, that was the second episode of Kake Gurui, of season two. I probably should say that too. But yeah, this episode. You know, we basically had one of our characters, I think it was Tirano, talking about what what's really at stake with this, why so many members of the... Momobami branch family was called specifically because I guess it's not only the student council position that's on the line, but the head of the Momobami household in general. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. And she just wasn't a big fan of uh, of Momobami at all, really. Which, you know, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but, yeah, we get to see all these people interacting with each other. I'm trying to remember names. We got Terano, we got Mio, I think Mio was one girl. Uh, I want to say Ibarra was one of them. You got Ray, obviously, the outcast member. Uh, yeah, oh, Aaron May, obviously. I'm working on the names, but, you know, basically, I'm sure they each have their time to shine. Obviously, Mary, Mary May got hers first, but we'll get to the other ones, I'm sure. I'm sure, you know, we have time. But yeah, speaking of Mary, you know, my bit of a fruity and slip there. Mary, we got to see some of her. I don't think she was in last episode, so I'm really glad we got to see her here. I just, just for the record, I ship Yumiko and Mary very, very hard, which is why I enjoy that one part of VED as much as I do. But, you know, with no, no hug there. We didn't get a hug, which is sad. But, you know, at least, at least she's on screen. She just, she always looks good on screen. And we established the rules for this thing, where it's like, it's a, a student council president election. We have, hello cat, we have little chips, which, you know, are important for this. So, like, basically, like, votes. Because it comes down to gambling skill more than anything else. That's always what matters the most at this school. So, that's, I mean, that's all we need. But, we pretty much just let ourselves back into the Aramie match. Basically showing how we got there. Then fast forward to the part we already saw in episode 1. And then continue off where we left off. Which is basically Aramie crying, sobbing. While, you know, Mibari was like, what's, 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 what's wrong, Mary? Maybe this was, this was your idea, your game. We'll have another confidence you had five seconds ago. And we know what happened to it, you know. But, but yeah, you know, credit to her. She kept doing the game. She didn't quit after she found out her finger was actually on the, on the line. So that's something to be, you know, that's some, something I can respect, I guess. But yeah, she, she really had to push herself, though, man. She was just on the verge of breaking down at any moment. It's just, but she kept her finger in there for a while until it came down to, like, they were all just cut off, and then she finally pulled her finger out. <clears throat> but the... <clears throat> but the big plot twist, the big important plot twist, was the fact that it was actually not altered at all by the referee, whatever you call the position. You know, it was actually just the way that she left it. And what she actually altered was the table because it was a little bit wobbly because one of the legs was messed up. You know, that's what caused uh, Midari to cut her finger. I don't know why I call it Midari sometimes. It's just a lot of names I kind of struggle with in this show, which is why my season one reactions, I don't think I really called a lot of them by name. But yeah, one thing I like about that is that, you know, it's that... It's technically possible to have guessed that if you're really, really smart, because, yeah, we did see a wobble and stuff, and that was a, a somewhat important moment, because it did cause me to cut herself, you know, so it is something you could definitely remember, and if you were a smarter person than me, maybe you could put, put two and two together and realize that that's what she was talking about, and she was trying to trick trick the Larry be there into believing that the device had been altered, basically. But... Yeah, the interesting thing on the interesting thing with that is that uh, just that she I don't know where I was going with that actually, but you know the point is the game came to an end. Yeah, uh, 
She pulled out her finger at the last second. We had Midari, who cut two strings, so she's disqualified. So Yumiko won, got three chips, but very unsatisfied with it because, you know, Midari just kind of ruined the whole thing, as she tends to do. But yeah, if Yumiko already did not, did not like you very much, Midari, and you're not doing much to get into her good, good, into her good zone. But, uh, you know, it was, it was fun, I guess. I just, I really wish there was actually some real danger there and it wasn't just all a trick. Because, you know, that's the kind of person I am. I want to see fingers fly off. But, you know, it's, it wasn't going to happen today, unfortunately. Anything else you want to say with the episode? Oh yeah, that's a, I should probably mention this. Apparently Yumiko is actually a fringe branch family of Momobami, which I... Yeah, that's another thing you probably could have guessed if you were a smarter person than me. You know, Jabami has Bami, you know, like all the other branch families do, so... You know, that, that makes sense. I think I may have at some point thought about the fact that Bami was in both names, but I never made any... never really thought anything of it. And I still, because I have a, you know... My mind's in the gutter. I really do get a kick out of this game between three, three girls involving a pair of scissors being passed around and used by all three girls, you know, together while looking at each other. There's, you know, plenty of uh, jokes you can make there, and I tend to do so. But yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was a fun episode. I'm glad the show is just back in general. And yeah, Yumiko seems to have no hard feelings against... Against Aramie, so hopefully they can have a match again someday. Hopefully Aramie has no hard feelings against Yumiko. He has all our fingers still, so she shouldn't be too upset. But, yeah, you know, one good thing from this is that Aramie now knows what the people that had to be tortured by this thing, she now knows what they feel like. She can empathize with them, so I think that's another good thing that kind of came from this. You know, torture is kind of a bad thing, so if we're going to do it, you should at least be aware of how it feels to be in that position, at the very least. So, you know, that's good. But yeah, I mean, we had a thing with Mary talking to the Vice President, and I'm more curious what's going to happen with that. It seems like we're going to continue that next episode, because one of the lines in the preview said something about doing what Mary tells you, so... Yeah, and we had that one moment when they asked Mary the question, and she just kind of looks at Yumiko and just doesn't give any real answers, so... Yeah, hopefully we can, we can get into that stuff next episode. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.